Well, I'm looking at a factory kind of behind us in warehouse. So why don't we start with the, uh, the term digital factory. So as manufacturers look to move from what they might have today with a lot of different standards and wireless, moving to an uh, LTE or 5G network, what are some of the challenges they're going to encounter? So, so um, when we look at the factories, uh, today, if you want to run operations on, on uh, you say you operational IT in a factory today, yeah. it's actually rather complex, right? Um, I think there's over 20 different standards for, for Ethernet or, you know, how do you use, what so are you Wi-Fi, wiring up? Zigbee, be yeah, but, but, but think about wires. Okay. Yeah. What are you all wiring up, right? Yeah. So if I want to get rid of the wires, I need to understand what's running on them today. Um, and, and am I 100% sure that I get the same reliability, the same low latency that I have from today? So of course, uh, from the low latency perspective, I can do with LT today, deploying edge clouds, I can do a lot. But we also see that from a standards perspective, this is some of the, a lot of the things been thought into the release 16 of, of the 3PP. So there is an evolution going, saying yes, start with, with the, what you can do today with, with LTE. And then there's an evolution to 5G in the releases that is then supporting these ultra low late, uh, latency and reliability parts that we have coming in release 16. Okay, so when will massive MIMO, or massive IoT come? Will that be part of release 17? And so why so 17 we, we do have the first part, 16, right? Yeah. Because we have a pretty solid foundation in our LTE standards yeah. today with narrowband IoT. Um, we build on this going forward. Um, and then you can say uh, some of it is coming in 16, some of it is coming later, but it really depends also on, you could say, as, as anything else with standardization, a, a constant prioritization on when do we need to get it in there. Uh, to make sure we can we can deploy at the time the market is there. But as I said, the narrowband IoT foundation that we have from LTE is, is a pretty solid starting point also for the 5G parts. 